What up, y'all? It's Coffee, Bad Caddy Man, and hope y'all had a great Halloween. You know, if Halloween is your thing or not, if you observe this holiday. Some people don't even consider it a holiday, the whole spooky season. But let me tell y'all something. We got to get into some spooky-ish, right? You guys remember? I mean, just listen, the whole Diddy case is extra spooky, right? Like uh, wicked allegations and the more uh, information is being put out there to the people, you know, via the blogosphere and the news cycle is really sounding like Diddy, you know, was on some Diddy Island type ish, you know, like flat out uh, a Homeland Security agent that was involved in the raid. We covered this a little while back, actually said that Diddy ran in the same social circles is Epstein and Harvey Weinstein, two sick sacks of garbage, just evil, wicked demons. You guys know what it is right now. The agent was a part of the raid. He was speaking to the press, okay? And he said that, hey, from everything we've obtained, the footage, the stuff that we seized in the raid, I will tell you, this is the agent again, and I'm paraphrasing, right? That he ran with them. He was in their social circle. He's connected to them. So this is sounding extra spooky, extra wicked, as we know in the whole Epstein case, right? They didn't want individuals to know how deep things went. Someone didn't want individuals to know, right? You know what I mean? And I'm wondering with this Diddy case, if this is indeed what it is, if this is some real demonry like we're hearing, if they will do the digging and uncover the truth and really connect all the dots or not, let me know what you think about that. If you believe that all to be true, and if you do believe it to be true, if things will be uncovered or something will happen with the prosecutors on the case or or what, you know, like, let's talk about it all. As always, hit the buttons, subscribe, comment, coffee, talk it up with me. If you're new, we talk music, news, sports, and more over here. It's some spooky, wicked-ish, right? And something else that was like spooky or bizarre, was disturbing as fuck, was obviously that Cassie video, man. I mean, Diddy just was viciously molly whopping or dragging her all around the hotel it was like did they have the whole floor to themselves no one came out no one poked their head out a door you know what i mean and how did this video that was from some time back just make it out now who was keeping this under wraps why did this never make it to law enforcement you know it's some real spooky type ish you know comment your thoughts on it all well diddy is alleging um, and put in motions in court trying to fight this, that the feds uh, conspired against him. And I believe he's naming Homeland Security specifically for leaking the video. So think about that, y'all. If you do believe that to be true or not, a Homeland Security agent is also who I was just telling you guys about was speaking to the media, um, an unnamed agent and saying all this stuff about Weinstein and Epstein and all this, you know, wicked Diddy Island, Epstein Island-ish, man. If this is the type of indictment you would expect from someone in the mafia, I don't know that I could keep him off the stand. He is very eager to tell his story. They're going to show that video over and over and over about what happens to women that won't change their stories. His reputation uh, is over. The United States government, they start making this case as a takedown of a successful black man. TMZ presents the downfall of Diddy, the indictment, now streaming on Tubi. Well, it is now Diddy making the allegations against the feds, uh, and a pretty serious one involving that Cassie uh, beating, the hotel beating video, and how it ended up at CNN and then out for the public to see. Uh, Diddy and his team believe that the feds played a, a big role in it coming out, and they, they are alleging uh, in new, doc new documents they filed, they are alleging that the reason the feds were involved in this was to ensure that it was basically to dirty him up so the grand jury would, it's basically to soften up the grand jury so he would be indicted. So what they're arguing is that Homeland Security, according to Diddy's lawyers, that Homeland Security, they believe, leaked this video. Um, and as Charles said, um, it is to poison, at least they, they claim, that it was to poison the grand jury. Um, 
it is an interesting argument. I don't know how they're going to prove that, but it's kind of an interesting argument because the, the Cassie video, as horrific as it is, is not part of the criminal indictment that Diddy is now facing. Um, she is mentioned, uh, uh, mentioned in connection I with, with, with okay, Well, no, I mean, legally, it's I not, know he's it's not, not be, part I know he's not being prosecuted for the beating itself. Right. But there is a mention of him holding her against her will. Right. And it is very clearly referring to that morning. But it doesn't, that hotel. It, it doesn't align with the charges. And I think it underscores. Sarah, holding her against her, uh, people against the will is one of the charges is in the indictment. But it's not about that video. They're not arguing that video. Mm. No, they're not. So, so then the question is, look, I mean, they put it in there because obviously it is just incendiary to watch. But what they're I guess my point is that video would have been shown to the grand jury anyway. Well, it, it, it may not have been shown to the grand jury because it's not really relevant to the sex trafficking charges and the other charges. There is a charge holding people against their will. But they're not charging kidnapping. kidnapping. They're not charging based on this. That's the Do you issue. know what the kidnapping charge no, is on? I know it's not this because we've, we've checked with the people involved in this. I, I think what's happening here, it's an effort by Diddy's counsel uh, in doing his job to seize the narrative, the public narrative, that and to make it seem like the federal prosecutors are overzealous in the prosecution of Diddy and being unfair to him, because it does appear that the re assuming they released it, which is something that they have not acknowledged, and other people probably had access to this, but assuming they released it, it does appear that it was an effort to, at the very least, uh, get turn public sentiment against him and maybe even taint the grand jury. I do think, to Charles' point, the prosecution's going to try and get this video in, regardless. Oh, it's um, going to be it's going to be part of the trial, but it's going to be part of the trial to show his M.O. and his character. And, um, you know, we did a documentary, uh, The Downfall of Diddy, The Indictment, where we actually talk with Diddy's lawyer about this, and his lawyer acknowledges, you know, we may try to fight to get this thing kept out, but we're going to lose it. I mean, he essentially said it. So the jury the jury is actually going to see this video, but it's gonna, they're going to see it not to prove the charges as much as to show the man. And that's why, and the prosecutor, and even the defense says, we're not going to be able to keep that out. Yeah, so I, I think Charles's point ha has some merit that, that the grand jury is likely to see this, but it doesn't change the fact, I suppose, that the reason that, D that the uh, prosecutors, the U.S. Attorney's Office, put this out early was to try and sort of poison the well, both of the grand jury and the public against Diddy. We don't know, though. If Again, they, we don't they know. Did. If, they did. if they did. We don't right. know. Which, uh, listen, if they did, they're never going to acknowledge it. And I don't know how Diddy proves that they did. I don't either. I don't either. Um, by the way, um, as we speak right now, there's a hearing going on in this case, and the uh, prosecutor said that there may well be a superseding indictment with more charges. Uh, the U.S. attorney talked about this when they announced the indictment and even said there might be other people indicted uh, as well, and that's a big buzz in Hollywood right now, which is, you know, who might be involved and are there going to be more charges against Diddy? All right, so you hear that, man. The TMZ guys are going back and forth that this is actually on the indictment, this exact incident in which we speak of. Um, you know what I mean? Because there is kidnapping, um, you know, another word or a different case. Jurisdiction to jurisdiction, state to state, federally laws uh, can have, you know, different criminal penal codes and names and stuff like that but there's all unlawful imprisonment there's kidnapping ish like that and you know they're saying that that is indeed on the indictment but you see them varying one guy's saying no it is for this incident the other guy's saying no i don't know it was kind of wild the way they were going back and forth but you see that diddy's lawyers are fighting this saying hey the feds leaked this video out they were aware of it they had it in the cut they put it out. We know CNN is the watermark we seen on it. it was the major media platform that pushed it out there to the world and shocked the world right at the time. Again, that's so crazy. Like what happened originally when that went down? How much money was exchanged to keep that under wraps? Like I'm trying to figure it all out and do the math, man. Let me know what you guys think about it all. Once again, hit them comments. But you see the feds are saying that's not true. And CNN is saying, we didn't even have it yet at that point. Um, you know, like someone else gave it to us or whatever. And you see the reports here that the feds, you know, did he put these motions in saying, hey, 
they conspired against me. This is a criminal conspiracy. What they did was operating outside of the law. Like, again, I'm not quoting, I'm paraphrasing, but they conspired in a way like uh, illegally hand handling evidence and hiding evidence and popping it out at a particular time, you know, for it to be put out there. And you heard what they were talking about, poison uh, the public opinion of Diddy right at the time when the grand jury was going to go down so that he would indeed be indicted. Now, strategically, if that is indeed what happened, that's a good move, right? And I got to say, Diddy's lawyers strategically, you know, like taking all our thoughts away and opinions about this case, we're just talking strategy here. They're on point with that move as well, filing these motions, you know, saying, hey, this was done uh, in a way to make sure that he was indeed indicted. It, it was done funny style, like this is not within the realm of the law or whatever, and it should be uh, thrown out, it shouldn't be allowed. And I wonder, uh, possibly you guys ever heard that whole legal term where they say something like, cause it's fruit of the poison tree, like it's excluded or something like that, that if Diddy's uh, legal team was able to argue this, that they could possibly I don't know, try to have the indictment tossed out or something. I'm not saying I think it's going to happen. The feds, we know how they rock, man, like very high conviction, right? We just saw a young thug and uh, unrelated news. You guys take that plea today. What did you guys think about that? That was pretty wild. I didn't expect that. He's coming home, but a lot of backloaded time on paper and um, 15 years probation. And if he violates He's got a gang of time he's got to do, and the stipulations are wild. I did a video, I'll pin it below on my other channel. Make sure you guys subscribe over there as well. Dropping a lot of content on that channel. But um, yeah, that shocked me, man. I thought there was gonna be a mistrial in that case. That wasn't the feds though, I'm bugging. That was a Rico case, but it was Georgia. So I'm tripping, apologies, but still pretty wild to see Thugger take that plea. Now you see here it says, prosecutors filed a motion in U.S. District Court in opposition. So they're opposing this motion Diddy filed earlier this month, alleging he believed the government gave the video to the popular cable news channel back in May. And they basically say this can't be true because they didn't even have it yet. So the feds are like, hey, we didn't have it yet. And I'm CNN saying they got it from someone else. They're not saying who. Um, I, I don't know, this whole video, uh, everything again, is Diddy aside, you know, if this stuff is true, the man needs to be locked up. I want to know if you believe it to be true or not. And if he did indeed run with these wicked demons in which this Homeland Security agent is speaking of. And you hear the trailer for that uh, documentary, Tubi's got one out, uh, uh, TMZ did the one on Tubi, 50 Cent's got one dropping on Netflix soon. We know Fifth has been leading the charge against Diddy to expose him for the longest time, Billy Joel voice. But um, yeah, it's like, where was this tape? Now listen, uh, as reported in previous filing, Diddy's team blames unnamed agents in the Department of Homeland Security, who they are saying, say are a likely a source of the leaks, pointing out Department of Homeland Security agents are often quoted in the news story about Diddy's case, which I just pointed this out. That's where the whole Epstein thing is that everything is coming from now. What's wild about this too is, the feds are saying, hey, we looked for this tape early on in our investigation, but it was deleted from the hard drive of the hotel. So again, this is all just so bizarre to me, this piece of evidence. Again, the timing of when it popped up, um, you know, how it was kept under wraps, why it never made it to law enforcement, who leaked it out. And then, like, you know, they're opposing this motion and it, it's crazy. Like I said, you hear the, um, them saying, hey, we knew it existed. We looked for it. It was deleted. We didn't do this, you know. CNN got it from someone else and put it out there, you know. But Diddy is claiming it's all a conspiracy against him, you know, to, to poison the court of public opinion and assure that he would be um, indicted federally as he is now sitting with no bail, you know, allegations of witness tampering. They're saying that's why he can't come home. Also, 6 9 the rat locked up as well, y'all. I believe in the same facility as Diddy. But um, so much about this video was just so bizarre to me. And um, I want to know what you guys think about it. I mean, like I said, strategically, 
uh, on both sides, it's a good strategy if the feds did indeed do this homeland security, you know, a branch of the federal government, a, a federal law enforcement agency uh, that's not legal, right? Like that's they're playing dirty, but I don't know. Maybe they're saying, hey, Diddy, well, they're saying it's not true. But if it was true, maybe they're like, hey, Diddy's a dirty, wicked individual. So we're going to do what we got to do. But I just, you know, to make sure he gets indicted. But I just am so perplexed by this whole situation right when it happened i kept thinking well like how, why is no one coming out did they have the whole floor to themselves once again who who hid this all this time there's so many questions that come to mind and i want to know what you guys think about it but you hear again his legal team speaking about it um uh, uh, reportedly you heard harvey over there at tmz you know world-class journalist harvey said the lawyer flat out said, hey, we're fighting this. We're putting in these motions. But he didn't seem very um, positive about it at all. Like he basically, according to Harvey, said that they're going to take an L with it. But I just thought that that was pretty wild. And I wanted to get your guys' thoughts, take an opinion on it. We got one more story to get to involving someone else locked up doing a whole lot of time. And that is R. Kelly, someone that I was a huge fan of, man. But um, when it comes to Kells, man, I believe he indeed was a wicked demon, married Aaliyah when she was underage. That was part of the, the whole indictment as well. The people that forged documents and were a part of it all, it's disgusting, disturbing. I hate when people say that, though. They will say, oh, uh, some of these sick parents were allowing this or accepting money. So, like, that doesn't make it okay. That makes them parents sick, disgusting, PERVs, wicked demons as well. And uh, they should be held liable. Also, it doesn't erase what Kelly does or make it okay. I hate that kind of logic, you know? But peep it, man, uh, with him being locked up and doing all this time, uh, 30 years federally, I believe. I, I don't know if he got time in that Chicago state case. I can't, or Illinois state case in Chicago. I can't recall. Um, I don't know if they ran it concurrent or consecutive with the feds or it got thrown out. I can't remember. And there's also reports here too that he had a case in Minnesota that was uh, thrown out as well. I was unaware of that. Comment and let me know if you guys were aware, but check it out. Universal Music Group uh, has to pay out over $500,000 in music royalties to the victims of R. Kelly, right? Now, we've seen in other situations uh, in civil uh, cases. I don't know if this is civil litigation or if this is just part of the criminal proceedings. I don't believe so. I think this is civil. But sometimes, you know, uh, criminally, there can be restitution, um, you know, assigned. And that's different when it comes to things civilly, like we see Rapper the Game for the longest time. Billy Joe voice cooking the books, hiding money in a Cointel Pro hip hop modern day whack Edgar Hoover 100's name. And, you know, it's just crazy, like getting the money. Um, that people win in judgments isn't always so easy. So again, I'm not exactly sure if this is uh, civilly or this is restitution, but I believe it is civilly, I think. But check it out. The money has to be paid with interest. So it says Kel's overall debt to all these victims is $507,234.05. And uh, Universal is in possession of at least $567,000. $444,019.19 from the singer's music publishing royalties. Um, it'll be sent to Brooklyn federal prosecutors to help cover his victims' restitution and criminal fines. So this is coming from the criminal side of things. So they're gonna get that money, man. Kelly, um, you know, serving 30 years, we already spoke about that, but uh, it, they saying uh, Sony, I guess, who's supposed to be on the hook, for some of this, uh, the prosecutors say they're off the hook. It's all on Universal Music Group. Anyone on this platform knows, man, Universal Music Group be claiming everything is theirs, man. So I guess they got a lot of money, right? It's a lot, of, it's crazy money, but it won't even put a dent in what, uh, you know, they're working with the uh, UMG <clears throat> bottom line, you know, the kind of money they got. But it says the outstanding balance fluctuates because it is subject to interest but as of today is five hundred and seven two thousand two hundred thirty four dollars and five cents umg is holding at least five 
$100,067,444.19 because the funds held by Universal will cover the entire restitution debt. The U.S. Attorney's Office will withdraw our writ of garnishment against Sony. So again, Sony's off the hook, but uh, you see this subject to interest. So again, this is not civil. This is criminal. The victims are going to get that money as I think they should, you know? And uh, man, that's wild. You know, Universal Music Group mad as hell at R. Kelly right now, man. And again, I was a huge fan of Kells, but uh, he was a foul dude, man. There's no conspiracy against him. Like he was a sick sack of ish in my opinion. And that's just what it is, man. So that's going to do it for this one. Let's talk about it all in the comments. Did he, this tape, uh, do you believe that the feds did conspire against him? What do you think about all that legal strategy we were talking about and everything? And, um, you know, this new news about R. Kelly. Let's talk about it in the comments. I thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. It's Jay Coffee Talk signing out. Talking music, news, sports, and more. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.